Smith welcoming you to Metal Monthly June, Banger's monthly look at what's going on in metal releases. As always, thanks for coming out. You know, it's YouTube. You can support us by liking and commenting and subscribing and all that. And if you got a bit extra cash, I know, Corona, everything's crazy. So if you don't, no worries. But we got a Patreon campaign. And if you like me, you can always catch me playing the records I'm talking about right here uh, on my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash metal comedy housekeeping so before we get on to what i've been jamming non-stop let's list some new and noteworthy releases to keep an eye out for uh june 5th 16 with the brackets and the is releasing dream squasher on relapse also coming out on relapse uh is exhumed slash gruesome's cool twisted horror split uh good stuff uh trash talk is releasing squalor on trash talk collective uh June 12th, A Version's Crown is releasing Hell Will Come For Us All. It kind of already has. Uh, on Nuclear Blast, uh, Behold the Octopus is releasing Hapoleptic Overtrove on Willowtip. Uh, June 19th, you got Protest the Hero releasing Palimpsest on Protest the Hero Inc. Hacken releasing Virus on Inside Out. Mushroomhead releasing A Wonderful Life on Napalm. And some Hamilton Locals, uh, Vile Creature are releasing Glory, Glory, Apathy Took the Helm. Uh, on Prosthetic Records, uh, June 26th, you've got Mantar releasing Grunge Town Hooligans 2 on Brutal Panda. Uh, Pyron is releasing Abscess Time on Willow Tip. And Scott Wino Weinrich is releasing Forever Gone on Ripple Music. Hey, that's what's coming out. Now let's talk about what's also still coming out, but I've listened to more than some of these. So a record I've been really, really, really loving uh, is Inexorum's Moonlit Navigation. It's on Gilead Media, June 26th. Uh, check it out. <laughs> Yes, this is some melodic black metal out of Minneapolis. Uh, a nice painted landscape cover by Brooks Wilson. Uh, that might tip you off. Hmm, painted landscape black metal. You said it was melodic. Is it also atmospheric? Why, yes, it is, I would say, of the atmospheric end. Uh, it also has a bit of death metal kind of in there. And that death metal, I would say, is progressive death metal. So you might refer to this as melodic atmospheric black progressive death. Map for, you know, casual conversations. Hey, by the way, we did a uh, lock horns on micro genres, which maybe will be there or there or there or there, or maybe just go to our page and find it. It was a good time. Yeah, so this is a really cool band, you know, operating in a very unique space. Uh, not a lot of bands that sound like this. Honestly, one of the main comparison I could draw is sometimes the guitars sound like that band Ratatat. Uh, it's cool, it's unique, definitely sounds like someone in the band went to college. Good stuff. So, next we've got Witching releasing Vernal. Uh, it's an independent release, cool, and it comes out June 5th. Hey, that's soon. Uh, so you can just, you know, listen to it and then pick it up. Nice. Now let's listen to it before we pick it up. Sludge. Philly Sludge sounds like it could be a mascot for one of Philadelphia sports teams. Uh, the Philadelphia Sludge. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, hey, hey. Uh, so the cover. Uh, Alex Ekman-Lawn really nails the vibe here. You look at that cover and you think that's 
gonna be a sludge band, uh, and it's gonna be sludge of the kind of thou variety, and you're right, I don't talk about sludge as much, uh, and I think the reason is, is because sometimes it sounds a little boring, um, but thou's good, and also witching is good. But why is witching good? Uh, it's not because they sound like thou, it's because they sound different and unique. And why do they sound different and unique? Well, it's because everyone's kind of doing something interesting, which sometimes sludge musicians don't do. Sometimes it's like, well, we're playing sludge, so, that means no one does anything interesting. That's not the case here. Uh, the guitars frequently have a cool, hard rock and vibe that I really dig. Uh, the drums are great. And Jackie Powell, the vocalist, has a really cool voice. Uh, she even does some clean singing at two parts to open two songs uh, that I really enjoy. I can listen to like a blues side project from her, you know? So hey, it's, uh, it's interesting sludge, which I think is very unique. And that's why I'm talking about it. And hey, I buried the lead on ya. I know some people know I like this band, so I wanted to not talk about it so you think, oh, is he not gonna talk about it? Does the record suck? Of course it doesn't suck. Vampire is releasing Rex on Century Media Records, June 19th. It's awesome. Hear why it's awesome and how awesome it is. Swedish, deathy, thrashy, cool. They just take the best parts of both genres and slam them together. I don't talk about a lot of bands that are on, you know, Century Media is a great label, but it's a bigger label, you know, big bands. I, Vampire are criminally underrated. Not enough people talk about how amazing Vampire is. Everything about the band, their music, they got the best darn logo I've ever seen, and this record, uh, I put it on the first time I listened to it, I was so excited, and you know when you're so excited for something and then it lets you down, uh, uh, and then uh, this doesn't, uh, you're, I was even more excited because it didn't let me down, I was like, oh, I, don't know, I hope it's going to be good, and then I was like, okay, it's good, but then there was the start of tracks, so I was so excited, I was like, damn, it's even better than I thought, and I was moshing in the house, it's good. Up next, we've got Death Courier with Necrotic Verses on Transcending Obscurity. Boy, I like those guys. Uh, it's coming out June 5th as well, so it's soon. Get excited, get purchasing, get listening. <laughs> Here is some Greek death metal with an album cover by Misanthropic Art, last month's favorite, Does It Again. I'm getting tired of your, and by that I mean I really like your art and I'm glad it keeps looking great. So this is some old school death metal that's technically not like throwback old school death metal because technically the band started in 1997 so it's got some street cred uh, and if you're kind of someone who likes old school death metal, but you feel like the revival is lacking the, uh, you know, the authenticity, boom, it's got that in spades. If you're a fan of old school death metal and you're loving the resurrection, boom, it's got everything you want there too. So everybody's going to be happy. There's just great pummeling drums. There's awesome riffs that are played really fast. Uh, it's just a, just a, just get punched in the chest. It's a, uh, you know, fist of the North Star action. Uh, you just get punched a lot. That's what we want, right? That's the sign of a good record. And this isn't a good record. It's a great record. Oh, we did it. Oh, terrible. <laughs> Thus we arrive at our palate cleanse of the month. It's Pale Divine Consequence of Time coming out on Cruise Del Sur Music June 19th. But let's have a listen today, June, whatever day in June it is. So, as 
as always in this slot we've got some heavy metal but it's doomy vibe and it's out of pennsylvania this time if you want a couple of pop 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 stamps for quality on the cover of this album besides me just saying it's quality uh well number one cruz del sur music releasing a doomy heavy metal band that's you know hey that's where you go if you're not there why are you where else are you going cruz del sur on the label means good food on the table um second Boy, was I air guitaring all over this thing. Holy heck, there's some real fun guitars going on here. It's big, it's great, some of the solos are great, some of the riffs are great, some of just did, yeah. It's, it's really making me miss live music. Sigh. And if you need a third stamp of quality on this doomy heavy metal band, uh, let's, let's, so they got a, they got a new guitar player for this album, uh, Dana Ort who performs amazingly, uh, and that uh, I guess they got new band photos taken because they had a new band member. So it came with two band photos, and these are what they look like. This guy joins a band and then gets stoned for the promo picture. Now normally, that would be unprofessional, but in a doomy heavy metal band, that is extremely professional. Just be stoned as heck all the time. They were, he was like, uh-oh, I gotta take a picture. Do you think anyone can tell I'm high? Yes, we can all tell you're high. But Good job on the record, good job on the photo, and good job, hey we did it guys, another month, another month of great records, another month of great records, let's, let's have a listen, let's have a like, let's have a subscribe, let's have a comment, and you know, let's just, uh, let's have a ball. This is